numerous changes, obviously. Uh, the, the biggest change is the growth of business people, both men and women, in, in the sport of boxing and for the training purposes, not necessarily as fighters. Right. There's a huge increase, obviously, for the last uh, 15 or 18 years for, in women's boxing. Right. Um, but the amount of men and women that are not uh, boxers, per se, that train here uh, is incredible. Right. We had um, a handful of business guys and we started getting more and more and then there's a lot of publicity on it. Once one magazine wrote about it or one TV station would come in, everybody followed suit. What brings boxing back uh, is the quality of the fighter. Boxing is so popular and it's such a great sport that uh, even when it gets down, people are down on it, it it'll, it'll come back. I mean, listen, as a kid, when you were in the schoolyard and two kids got into a fight, everybody circled around, okay? Everybody. It's popular. <laughs> yeah, right. People love it. Yeah, okay? right. Everybody loves the sport. <laughs> boxing started, I'll tell you exactly when boxing started. When there were three men on earth, two of them got into fight, one was the spectator, and that's when it started. It's been here, it's been around ever, ever since. Someone. Women saved the gyms more uh -huh. than they save the sport of boxing. Uh -huh. the, the difference between men and women, when, when women come into the gym, they say, listen, teach me the sport. I don't know the sport, right. teach right. me the sport. Where a guy so the whereas the guy thinks he already knows how to fight. Every guy is macho. Yeah, he already, he already, already knows, how to, he already right knows how to move yeah. around, and yeah. da, 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 da. you, so, you got to break off his yeah, bad yeah, you have to You have to break them down. The women, for the most part, are different than the men. They come in and they're highly educated, they have good jobs, they have power <laughs> jobs, <laughs> And they're looking at, uh, at boxing as a challenge, as opposed to men coming in looking at it as a way out of poverty. Women in the light weights mm -hmm. can hold their own with the men. If you have a 100-pound woman against a 100-pound guy, a <laughs> 105-pounder, uh, they're, they're pretty good. They can go in there and technically hold their own and, and, um, and probably win against a man. When you get bigger and you get into the higher uh, weight divisions, uh, physio physiologically, uh, there's no comparison. The men are just right. bigger and stronger, right. and then they can uh, overpower the women. You know what, J.D. mentioned something on an episode that we did recently where he was talking about, you know, it used to be back in the day, like, you had a boxing club on every corner. Like, you had one, you know, I mean, they were everywhere. You talk about the 50s, 60s, 70s in the United States, and especially in cities like New York. That's changed. Totally. Like, That's what, what, where do you, what do you think has been the dynamic? Why has that happened? Money. Yeah? Money. First of all, two, two things happened, two major problems happened um, for, for New York, not for boxing, but for New York. Uh, the casinos open okay, right. in Vegas, and then they open down in the south in the uh, in Louisiana area. And now there's casinos all over, and there's casinos up in Connecticut. Casinos support the sport of boxing um, to the tune of giving you a site fee, uh -huh. and they also provide room and board. Right. So now the difference is if, if uh, Bob Arum wants to do a show in New York City, right. okay, he has to pay the garden a very lot of money, right. okay? a couple hundred thousand to open the door, that's turnkey, okay? yeah. and you don't get the concessions there. Yeah. Okay? Now, he has to put the people up in hotels, hotels in New York are expensive, he has to feed everybody, food is expensive in yeah. New York. So if Aaron says, now let's see, should I box at the Garden or should I go to MSG or, or uh, Madison, uh, uh, out to, um, to Las Vegas right. where the consortium of hotels will pay me X number of dollars to fight here, right. plus they'll give me the rooms and boards for free. Now, what happened was there was not only gyms on every corner, yeah. there were arenas, arenas in every every borough. You don't and ever hear was, anybody talk about that. Well, part they're, they're not existing anymore. Yeah. And what happened, they were all these arenas were places where people would box uh, to gain their skill so they could go into Madison Square Garden. Yeah. So there was boxing sometimes every night of the week in a different borough. Yeah. And there it was a time when, I've read about that and it blows my mind. Yeah, I mean, no, like that whole idea of like, just like you could just like casually and could just go see a fight. And well, it, it wasn't casual. Okay, I mean, there, there were places ever, and it was a time when Brooklyn was against the Bronx. Okay, and Bronx was against Manhattan, and Staten right. Island would have fights. So yeah. there, were, there were were there were big ethnic and, and uh, locality uh, followings. So some of the other problems, the the arenas dried up. The small gyms dried up because the kids were no longer in the gyms, they couldn't make a living. Right. And, and uh, boxing in New York is not what it used to be. Boxing.